Well, I guess it's been 10 years since our event in 1997. Did you expect it to get that high? No. Nope, I really didn't. In all my days, we never, well, nobody's seen this before. We saw the water coming across, but then that's where it stayed. So uh, I, I never, not my, well, nobody's wildest dream that this was going to happen. This flood wasn't going to beat us as a community, and it certainly wasn't going to uh, kick my booty out of town. Well, obviously, the contributing factor was the large amount of snow that we had, you know, during that during that preceding winter. And we were, uh, I think, setting a number of records throughout the valley as far as how much snow was received, and also the uh, moisture content of the snow was also high. Um, the timing of the last blizzard really impacted Grand Forks. Uh, to a large extent, I think it, it perhaps helped save Fargo because it, it, it slowed down some of the flow rates as they were going, as the peak was going through Fargo, but then it all released at the same time as those peaks were hitting Grand Forks. We, we kept fighting the flood uh, basically uh, the whole time. Uh, there was certainly a period of time when uh, we weren't accomplishing anything because there wasn't anybody around, but we actually continued the flood fighting mode uh, all the way through um, till the waters receded. We knew we were going to get here. Um, you know, we had that. We had good federal backing. We had good state backing. We had good local support. Um, to me, it wasn't ever a question of if; it was really when. I'm 86. My wife's 82. And we're down here every morning, every morning till night. So there you are. And uh, I'll keep on going till they haul me out. <laughs> you know, even the floor was buckled. You, you know, you wouldn't believe it, but and everything was turned upside down. Everything. So, no, never, no, no. You know why? It took me 30 years to pay for this building. <laughs> I own the building, see. So I wasn't gonna throw it away. Everything from new floor to new seat, everything, the whole thing, electric, air conditioning, heating, oh, everything, windows, all new windows. Who knew it was going to get this high? My most expensive equipment is my chocolate equipment, which got destroyed. And some of those machines got 7000 5000 5000 6000 It costs a lot of money. I'll get those out of harm's way, because they're all electronics, see? Just like our cash registers, our Visa card, see? all that stuff was destroyed because it's all electronics, see? Take all the electronics out here, all this other stuff is superficial, you know? We got a plan, I don't know we're going to use it or not. In my opinion, the, the heart and soul of a city is its downtown and how that downtown is, uh, is maintained and taken care of. The manhole cover in the street shot up in the air about six, eight feet from water pressure. It just kind of blew it up and I said, I got to get out of here. It's absolutely devastating. I looked in the window and the original Sanders booths that Bob's wife Linda painted uh, were upside down, were underwater, were just like somebody had turned a blender on in there. And it was a mess. I wanted to be a part of the rebirth of this community, and uh, here we are, uh, 10 years later, and uh, it's, just, it's spectacular, the recovery. I mean, it, and, and nobody's not scarred from this experience. I mean, we all got our lives set back and, and changed forever, but, but the way that we approached it and, and, and came back, uh, it's, it's really uh, it's a big success story for Grand Forks, North Dakota. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart, because not in every part of the business world I deal with, can you trust people and where the word still means something and uh, my father was like that very much and for me that means a lot because some people obviously will miss in the thanking process here but there's always been civility and honor and for me that's very 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 important I mean if all we're in here just to make some money then you know there's, there's much more to life than that I like it here I like the civility and I, and I just felt I had to say that We've had a major completion of our flood protection project and it has really changed the face of our community. And you can see that people are reassured now. 
the, the protection. And you could tell that during the spring flood of 2006, which was our sixth largest flood in our history, and life went on as usual. A lot of local businesses are growing. Um, the population is up. The latest figure I saw was 53,000 people, and that exceeded our pre-flood levels. And we see that more Canadian visitors, uh, more visitors to our community, and I think that we see that Grand Forks is once again a destination city.